Hi friends, today I'm going to be making Japanese korokke. Korokke is a very popular side dish or snacks in Japan and it is basically a deep fried mashed potato mixed with seasoned minced meat and onion. And there is a lot of korokke in Japan and the texture and the flavor is different from shop to shop. And my favorite one is from Kobe and it is the best korokke I have ever had and I recreate it at home. I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. Peel the potato and cut into chunks. Soak in water to remove any excess starch and prevent browning. I use russet potato, which makes silky texture when it's done. Boil the potato with water halfway up to the potato and half a teaspoon of salt. Cover and cook about 20 minutes until tender. While cooking the potato, saute the minced beef until no longer pink and add minced onion and cook until soften. Add sugar and soy sauce and black pepper to taste. Cook until the seasonings are reduced. When the potato is done, drain and mash them with a potato masher. Add the potato into the sautéed mixture and mix well. Transfer to a container and then cool them down to room temperature and then chill in the fridge to easy to work with. Divide the mixture into 12, shape them into flat, oval-shaped patties. Be sure to have them a smooth edge to bread them nicely. For the butter, mix all-purpose flour, water, and egg. Normally, the recipe requires only beaten egg, but in the professional kitchen, they use this kind of butter to stick the panko breadcrumb around the mixture perfectly and if it's not breaded enough, it'll lose its shape in the hot oil. That's what we want to avoid. Coat each patty with all-purpose flour, dip into the butter, and then panko breadcrumb. You can freeze it at this point for the next couple of months. Heat the vegetable oil in a frying pan up to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Deep fry quickly only for the outside because the inside is already cooked. Fry the korokke in batches until golden brown, about a couple of minutes. Drain the korokke on the wire rack to release the steam and keep the outside crispy. Serve the korokke with shredded cabbage and tonkatsu sauce if you want. Because it is seasoned with soy sauce, it tastes so flavorful and tastes really Japanese. I hope you love it too. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And tap the bell icon not to miss any of my new videos. And follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!